So we got to see uh, Marcus Johnson get back there. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on what he was able to do uh, in the return game? Yeah, I thought he did really well. You know, we had our best two returns when he when he went back there and. You know, the thing that we told him at halftime is we just want a guy that's going to go catch the ball and get upfield as quickly as possible uh, and break an arm tackle. And Marcus was game for it, and he was excited about it and ended up getting our, our two best returns. So we feel pretty good about him uh, going in there and helping us out. Excited about the possibility that uh, likelihood of having Brett back this week? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's still got to go through the protocols. Um, but, uh, you know, we're excited whenever he can get back, uh, you know, having a caliber um, kid like that or a guy like that, being able to pump for us uh, is obviously a big deal. And, and I think our players miss him. I know I do. Uh, it's going to be fun for him to come back in here and, and hopefully pump for us here soon. You said last week you, you weren't really judging the, the kickoff return so much on the return yardage, but on the field. Yeah. Yep. So the field position averages 23.5, which is 29th in the league. Yeah. So what's your judgment of the field position? Yeah, I, I mean, the last two, obviously, um, you know, we felt pretty good about it because we got the ball to the 35, and then uh, the one before that, you know, we got the ball out close to the 25-yard line, but they end up having a penalty. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, it's something that we're going to continue to try to improve on. We want to get it, obviously, past the 25-yard line every single time when we do return it. You know, now teams are starting to hit the ball short on us and trying to get a bunch of hang time. Uh, and, and we've got to be direct when catching the ball and just trying to get as much as we possibly can uh, when teams start to do that. But it's still not anywhere where, where it needs to be. 23.8 is not good enough. Uh, we need to get that thing out past the 25 at least. Uh, you know, it could be. Uh, it's it's a little thing where we could end up throwing it, or it could be a decoy, which is what happened. Uh, you know, just trying to get some guys to slow down on their kickoff team and maybe see some stuff, or being able to throw it. Uh, you know, it's just all all things that we're looking for to help out our return team as much as we possibly can. Does Bullock do the do the right thing there, I guess, and, and going after the return guy hard, and and how is he doing? Uh, I'm sorry, I missed did, that. Did Bullock do the do the right thing going going hard? Yeah, hard? you know, uh, Randy understands that he has to do everything that he possibly can to get the returner down. Uh, you know, maybe not the most athletic uh, play for him, but you know, we we try to get him. He knows the rules where he can't go low on a block. Uh, but he's got to do everything that he possibly can to get it down or at least try to slow it up. Uh, so, we, you know, we give him credit. He, he tried. He, in fact, he even tried to pull a vet move and try to draw a foul, uh, which is what he's got to do no matter what. So, you know, I'm always happy with Randy uh, trying as best as he possibly can. Uh, we might have to work on a little bit more uh, tackling with him uh, when that's concerned. Do you give him credit, though, for, for selling that foul? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Over? I mean, it's, uh, it was a great acting job by him. Uh, he's just got to land a little bit softer. But, uh, you know, we, we got to try to get him close to the sideline, try to push him out if we can, or, you know, make him cut it back up where all the help is, is going. So, you know, we'll continue to work with him on that stuff. And, uh, you know, if he can make a tackle, that's great for us. Does the lateral have to be an actual lateral next time yeah. if you uh, try that on a punt? Obviously, we did not do it as well as a Music City Miracle, um, you know, when they threw the ball back to, to Kevin Dyson. Uh, but, you know, it was something for us to try to provide a spark. We saw something on film that we thought we could, uh, you know, get accomplished. Uh, we, we've got to do a much better job on the outside of stopping their gunner. Um, we, we got the look that we wanted to, but, you know, Chester didn't have enough time to actually, you know, throw the ball like he wanted to. You know, he felt rushed, and there he ended up throwing it forward. Um, you know, that's something that we'll continue to, to work on and, and learn from. Uh, you know, but hopefully, hopefully it works the next time if we end up running it. Feedback from Dyson on a regular basis. Have you heard from him after that one? Or? No, no. Actually, uh, our talks are usually about our kids. Um, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'll get a uh, comment from from him about it. Uh, maybe here soon. Our, our my boy plays here on Saturday, so I'm sure Kevin will end up talking to me about that they ran it a little bit better uh, than we did on Monday night. So we'll see.
they're two in the league in punt return average. I think is it Hardman the main reason for that, or what? What do they do so well to put him in a position to be successful? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Miko Hardman's uh, a dynamic returner. He uh, gets to full speed as quickly as possible, and he does a good job catching it. Uh, but but they're also well coached. Um, Dave's done an awesome job, you know, wherever he's at, whether it's Chicago or Kansas City. Uh, you know, he gets those guys blocking up front. They do a great job on the gunners outside. He likes to double press those guys. Uh, on the outside, so they do a really good job of holding those guys at the line of scrimmage. Uh, and then when you give me Cole Hardman, you know, some space, he's going to take advantage of it. So we got to do a great job with our kicks this week and with our coverage of staying in our lanes because we can't let me Cole, you know, whether it's getting out to the field or to the sideline, we can't let this guy get started. Obviously, Brett coming back. Or when Brett comes back, you, you, you know you, you're probably going to go back to him, but his kicker setting up a little differently with how well Randy's doing. Yeah, Randy's doing a really good job. Um, you know, as far as kickoffs, obviously field goal wise, uh, you know, he's brought a little bit of st stability to it right now because he's doing a good job. Uh, so we feel real comfortable with Randy right now, and uh, hopefully, you know, he'll continue to kick, and we'll, we'll see how that leads us, um, you know, in the future. With Brett coming back from COVID and the injury, like when's the last time? You've seen him do anything, and are you antsy that you maybe haven't seen him kick the ball in person? Or sure, you know it's 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 been a while, um, you know, with the injury and stuff like that, and you know we've always been in constant communication with Brett and seeing how he's doing and how he's feeling, uh, and hopefully we get him um, out here at some point in time and see what he can do. Uh, but here's the one thing I do know: Brett has been doing this for a very long time. Um, I don't know if it's like riding a bike for him, but uh, this guy's a professional. He's going to understand what needs to happen and his technique and his form, and I'm sure he'll let us know how he feels when he does that. But we're just excited when he does come back for him to pump for us. How much does a shoulder uh, affect a kicker, kicker's ability to kick? Uh... Yeah, uh, you know, that was something that we asked Randy at the game, and Randy just gave me the thumbs up and says, I'm, I'm kicking. And, you know, when you get a guy like that who doesn't matter what happens to him, I'm going to kick, uh, you know, it makes us feel good. But, yeah, it all affects. I mean, obviously people, oh, well, if his leg's not broken, he can still kick. There, there's a little bit more to it than that. You know, it's all hips, body, you know, shoulder rotation, things like that. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll end up seeing uh, what Randy can do. He feels well right now, so we'll see what he can do today. You don't want to see anybody get hurt about how much you hate it for Cam and did you get a chance to maybe, what have you had to say to him maybe once you had the injury? I mean, it's, it's just tough. Any Anytime you see a guy go down, uh, it's rough because you know the work that they put in, whether it's in the offseason, training camp, during the regular season, it, it's, it's tough on those guys, you know. And, you know, after the game, you know, it was just, you feel devastated for a guy like that, but we're just hoping his rehab goes really well. Um, you know, hopefully he can come back from it, which I know he does, because he's gonna, he's just gonna work his butt off to to get back at it. Um, but but you feel for him, obviously.